what does it mean to you to live like Fred? Oh my gosh. Well, I think I talked about it a little bit, but um, one of the things that I just find is so amazing about his life is at least the, what we saw, um, he was so peaceful. Like he was Joe chill. And, and I know that sometimes people would like make fun of him because he was like, he was so methodical and slow and, you know, fed the fish. So like he fed the fish for like, you know, a couple minutes and we're like in such like this fast pace, you know, we got to jam a bunch of stuff in. I love that he was like calm and centered and thoughtful and wanting to like get the most out of every moment. Like uh, that is so much needed in our world today. And just, you know, and just his imagination, like he could take the simplest little things and like even just like feeding the fish and having this conversation that I know that he calmed so many people's blood pressure. <laughs> just being on you know so that's one of the things and he didn't judge he was just so open and really truly seeing people's gifts no matter who he spent time with he saw their inner self I just thought that was so beautiful yeah those are all the traits I love of Fred as well and then uh what what makes a snappy new day for you Diane <laughs> um Oh, wow. Like today, like this, I love this, you know, spending time with you, um, having a conversation about uplifting things and trying to make a difference. Like that is totally snappy. Um, spending time with my dog, you know, just like chilling and petting and, you know, and I, our family will sit together and we're like, look at him, look how cute he is. And I didn't even want a dog and they talked me into it in the last like three years, but like, you know, just um, journaling and writing and giggling with friends and having like that knowing look with your, with my husband, um, you know, just like living life and, and making a difference and um, inspiring people and helping someone. Like those are all really valuable things in a day for sure. What kind of dog do you have? He is a Jackapoo, so he's a Jack Russell and a Poodle mixed, and then he has some kind of terrier in him too, so he's like 20 pounds and scruffy and just super cute, and I'm glad he's not being making noise right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then uh, finally, Diane, uh, where can yeah. folks purchase the books if they have um, any interest? Oh, thank you. Yeah, that would be great. They're on Amazon, so self-published. Um, through Amazon, both available there. And then I have a website, which is dianescabaloni.com. And um, I'm sure you probably like, can you put the link, like put a link in the introduction or something, or do you want me to spell out my Scabaloni? It's a tricky name. Of course, then, yeah. Um, um, we're going to put a, a link uh, down below to um, the uh, Amazon link to purchase your books and also your website as well. Awesome. Awesome. I appreciate that. Okay. Yeah. I would love to connect with anybody and have conversations. I've been doing like some virtual things with kids and, um, you know, I love having this conversation. So thank you so much. No problem, Diane. And we thank you so much for joining us. We hope you enjoy the rest of your day and we wish you nothing but the best in your future. Um, have you ever thought about maybe make, um, pr pr um, writing some more books or is this maybe the end of the line for you? Number three is in the works. Oh, awesome. Well, we have a lot <laughs> to hear about Diane, thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Colton. It's a pleasure.